And as that storm makes its way to the north and to the east, we'll probably see some more rain. Meteorologist Ray Petlin is here now with details on our forecast, and we've seen rain today, and it's going to continue. Oh, yeah, and actually it's going to be a lot heavier once we get into tomorrow and more consistent throughout the course of the day. So tomorrow is pretty much a washout. Now, temperatures, we're going to add in the rain. Temperatures, they're not changing too much over the next 24 hours. We'll waver just a couple degrees over the next 24, and that's about it. Cloudy skies as it stands right now in Pittsburgh. We do have 51 degrees in town, light winds, high relative humidity, and this is going to set us up for some pretty soggy conditions into the uh, late night, early morning, through the day tomorrow. So clouds right now to find our precipitation. We just have to go down to the south, but there's a couple things that are going to help us out. One is Zeta. This is that hurricane coming on shore in Louisiana. This is going to provide a little moisture to us. Plus, there's some activity back just to the northwest of that that's uh, up and to the left of that that we're watching. And that's an area of low pressure, a little trough, a little kink in the atmosphere behind it with some colder air spinning around. But these two are going to both come real close and bring that moisture potential to us tonight and tomorrow. So this is 2 a.m. You can see maybe just a little spotty shower around, but I think in most cases we're still dry up into this point. But beyond that, the rain turns on and it doesn't go anywhere. It sticks with us through the day. So rain showers throughout the course of Thursday. Some of that rain at times could be heavy. So this is going to be one of those really wet setups into the day tomorrow. Once we get into the evening, it'll start to break up a little bit. It'll be more uh, more scattered rain. That'll continue into the early morning hours of Friday, possibly even coming with a few wet snowflakes up to the north along I-80. There's going to be cold enough air there to support a couple snowflakes. It shouldn't stick. Now into Friday afternoon, still some clouds to contend with, but generally we'll be breaking up those clouds a bit, setting us up for some sunshine on Halloween. Halloween, everything kind of comes together. While it'll be a little cool, I think it's going to be a beautiful day. Should be a beautiful night for trick-or-treating for the kids who are actually going to go out and do that. But that rain that comes into play tonight and tomorrow is going to amount to about two inches of rainfall. So quite a dose on the Away. So cloudy, that rain late, light and variable winds. I would not be surprised if we picked up on a little fog for tonight and early tomorrow, but that rain turns on and it spends most of the day without turning off. 50 degrees for your high temperature tomorrow. Over the, the uh, forecast throughout the day, look at that, pretty much rain drops all the way through. So if you have an umbrella, you're going to get your money's worth. Now into Friday, after that early shower, temperatures only make it to the upper 40s. Uh, a few peaks of sunshine later in the day, setting us up for some sunshine on Saturday. While Sunday comes with a few uh, showers to start off November, we get into Monday. It'll start to clear out after a few early showers. However, it's only going to be 40 degrees. That's a cold start to November there. and Those temperatures stay cool into the middle of the week. And remember, the KDK weather app can track the rain. It can track your forecast hour by hour. It gives you a future cast and a whole lot more for free. Search CBS Pittsburgh in the App Store and Google Play.